2% cashback, no fees and no lockup period. Is Nexo the best crypto card out there? Let's find out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kai. Being a long-term customer of Crypto.com, I used to love their Crypto Visa debit card. It's amazing. But with the recent ongoing changes they made to the program, I've actually not been happy at all and started looking for alternatives. It started when they reduced the staking awards and I found Nexo, which is a great new platform that offers amazing staking awards. And I sent all my crypto holdings from Crypto.com to Nexo and you find a video about this at the end of this video. But I still use my Crypto.com Visa debit card because being a Royal Indigo member, I got 3% cashback, which was amazing. But now, a few days ago, they also slashed those benefits to a point where I now only get one and a half percent cashback capped at $50 per month. So for me, honestly, I've been using my card so much. It hasn't really been interesting. And plus I need to lock up so much of my crow there. And uh, I just started looking for alternatives. So when I looked around, there are a lot of options now coming up. But having my funds in Nexo, I saw that they launched their new Nexo card anyway. So I thought I might as well give them a go. And so far, my experience has been really good. So once you open your Nexo account, and if you haven't yet, please use the link in the description below. Add at least $100 of cryptocurrencies to your account and keep it for longer than 30 days and you will get $25 in Bitcoin. So once you set up your account, there is still a little waiting list, but now it's getting shorter and shorter for me. It took a couple of weeks, but now I hear it's pretty much within the next couple of days that you will get the card. And that's how it looks. Basically, there's a physical and there's a virtual card. And I'll show you in a second how that works and you can use it with Google and Apple Pay. So as it says right here, you're gonna get 2% cashback on all your rewards. Now I'll count in a second how that's structured because there's different ways how you can organize this. So unlike most cards, you actually don't have to sell anything. So it's not a debit card, but a credit card. They don't explicitly say it here. So I actually got a little bit confused in the beginning as well. So it is a bit different the way you repay your loan, but basically you can keep your crypto and use the crypto as your collateral. The same way you would take out a loan against your crypto, you use your crypto as collateral to get an interest-free credit card, basically. As they mentioned over here, you can get 2% back in BTC or Nexo. That's a little bit misleading because actually it's only for Nexo. In BTC, it's 0.5% and you need to be the highest level of the loyalty membership program. So if you are, then you don't pay any interest on the loan you take out on your credit that you have on your credit card. If you don't have the highest level uh, of Nexo token, there will be a small fee and there's no monthly payments needed. So you can even uh, keep the credit for a couple of months and then only repay in case you have some financial difficulties. They give you this flexibility. So yeah, here it says basically the earning rewards is 0.5 in Bitcoin. So not the 2% as advertised, but 0.5, which, you know, if you want Bitcoin, that's great. I choose to go for the 2% because building up my Nexo portfolio will help me to maintain the highest level of Nexo loyalty, which gives added benefits. Plus, at the end of the month, if I have too many Nexo for my liking, I can easily convert them back to Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. And uh, yeah, I just get higher rewards. So might as well have that and then convert it to whatever I want or even uh, cash it out into Euro and use it for everyday spending. So it's really up to you, but I prefer uh, getting my rewards in Nexo. So again, as it is a credit card, you can just use your cryptocurrency in the account as collateral. And depending on how much you have, that's how much you can borrow against. And it will indicate how much you can borrow. Of course, again, in terms of taxes, you don't have to sell your crypto to liquid in case you have most of your net worth in crypto, you don't have to sell it to use those funds. You can keep them and just borrow against it. So that's another uh, great benefit there. No minimum repayment or fees. So that's great. They don't charge you any fees and uh, you can really choose how long you want until you repay your outstanding uh, credit basically. And amazing thing, as soon as you're off the waiting list and you get cleared, literally took me two steps to put my phone number against it and activate the card and you can use the virtual card right away. So you don't have to wait for the physical card to come. And I don't actually like or use physical cards at all. So I was good to go, immediately connected it to my Apple Pay and then to my Curve card to get additional 1% cashback. And uh, yeah, I was ready to go and uh, loved it. Another amazing part that I really like about the card is the FX fees. Because a lot of cards, they give you all these perks, etc. But once you travel outside your usual country or in other currency countries, they start charging a huge FX rate uh, on top of the transaction. So here up to 20,000 uh, euros per month, which honestly, I guess most of us don't really spend in a month. There is no additional FX charge because this can really start eating into your cashback because with some of the cards you get one or 2% cashback, but they will charge you up to 2% FX conversion rate. So in the end, you left with the net zero. So this is really, really good. Plus you get 10 free ATM withdrawals up to 10,000 euros per month. I mean, I haven't seen this anywhere else. No bank card gives you this. So another really, really big part why I like the Nexo card. Great security that Nexo in general has in place. Uh, you can easily freeze your card, you can track the transactions, get instant notifications. It's super, super fast. Whenever I spend something, within a second, I had it on my phone. So really, really feel safe with them. How to get the card? Very simple over here. Obviously, you click on card. I'll show you in the app in a second. You activate it and then you just add it to your Apple Pay or Google Pay and you can start spending right away. All right, with this, let's hop over to the app. Right, so you're obviously going to open your Nexo Wallet app. 
Um, so once you register it and you have your funds over there, very straightforward, you're gonna open it up. And as you can see, I already have quite some funds over here because I transferred most of it now from my crypto.com holdings uh, into here. There's still a little bit of Bitcoin tied up over there, which once the three months uh, staking period is up over there, I will send them in over here. And uh, the first thing you will notice is this orange icon over here. Uh, and this is your loyalty level. So as you can see, I was actually platinum the whole time. Just this morning when one of my transfers from crypto.com arrived, uh, I actually dropped down to gold. So how it works in principle, depending on how much is your portfolio, let's say it's 10,000 euros, you need to maintain a certain balance in Nexo. So for example, to get the highest level of Nexo loyalty and to get the most benefits, you would need to keep at least 10%, if not more of your portfolio in Nexo. So if I have 10,000 worth of crypto, it, it can be any cryptocurrency. It doesn't matter, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. 10% of that, so 1,000 or more, should be in Nexo. So I was platinum, but now that I got more Bitcoins into my Nexo account, my overall percentage of Nexo compared to my overall portfolio dropped below 10%, as you can see, 9.68. Uh, so with this, I sadly dropped down for gold, but I will now transfer a bit of money just to convert it and get this balance up to uh, go back to platinum, because you can see quite a difference in terms of uh, rewards, for example, my cryptocurrency, instead of four and a half, I would be getting 5%. Plus, as a stake in Nexo rewards, I would be getting an additional 2% extra. So for Bitcoin, for example, I would be getting 7% in Nexo tokens per year, paid every single day. And that's really, really amazing. And I love it. And the great thing is there is no lockup period because now in Crypto.com, I have to lock up for three months and I would still get a lower rate. And uh, yeah, that's the beauty of Nexo. Plus, of course, uh, free crypto withdrawals, etc. So a lot of benefits by upgrading your uh, loyalty level. And I really recommend everyone to go for the highest one. Plus, of course, the opportunity of Nexo to grow in the future. Recently, they listed with Binance. There was a huge spike in uh, the price of it. Now it kind of stabilized again. But I think going forward, it also has a huge uh, potential. Same as Kronos coin had until they cut the rewards. Hopefully, they'll bring back some of them and the price for Kronos goes up. But I think the same goes for Nexo. I think long term, it definitely has a big opportunity there. From here, very straightforward, you click into your card. So in case you're still on the waiting list, uh, you will just be there. It says you're on the waiting list. And once you pass the waiting list, you'll get an email, you get an app notification. So you will know that you made it. You can see the card here. That's my virtual card. I can swipe to the right. And that's the physical card, which you know I could order. And once again, you have all the uh, summary of what it is, what it offers. So for the physical card, you need to be platinum member. So within seconds, you upgrade to the level. So it really depends on the balance. So I will hopefully buy this evening have my additional nexo coins and i'll upgrade to uh, platinum so i would just click on order now free of charge if you're platinum and it will just come in a couple of weeks to you but as i said i really don't actually like physical cards i don't take cash from the atm i do everything through apple pay or online i always go with the digital or virtual card so underneath there, you see the lifetime cashback. So the more you start using your card, obviously this number will go up. It just started recently. Uh, so for now, I'm still using my crypto.com card because I still have some money over there and sadly you can't transfer it out. So I will make sure it hits zero. And once it's done, I will then switch to using Nexo card. So from here, you can basically click on your card details. And from here, you have all your card details, which, you know, if you want to pay online, etc. So that's very simple. Then you can freeze the card in case you lose it or what have you, or if it's compromised, uh, you can quickly freeze it and freeze it in case some of the ATMs except virtual cards you can have the pin over here as well transactions you can click on there and you see all the transactions you had with the card in the past you can filter by month by period by transaction type very nice you can even export it as a csv file uh, so you have them for your record so really really nice clean overview doesn't give you too many analytics yet but again i use it with curve card together so in curve i get a bit more analytics on what i'm spending where i'm spending together it's really a good setup then you have the card settings you can click the cashback type uh, over here so as you can see now that i dropped to gold sadly this morning but if i upgrade to platinum it will revert back to two percent for nexo and 0.5 for bitcoin but now as i'm a gold i drop to one percent and 0.3 so it shows you there's a real incentive to upgrading to the highest level and uh, yeah it makes sense plus there's no lockup that's a difference to chronos coin in crypto.com i had to lock up my chronos for 180 days to get the benefits of the card here you don't need to do this in case you're fed up and you want to leave nexo you can just sell all your nexo convert it to bitcoin and move to the next exchange right and i really like this flex Flexibility. Right, again, so now that I kind of dropped in the loyalty level, I cannot borrow at 0%, but at 1.9% as a gold member. But as it shows over here, if I upgrade my loyalty level, I can borrow from 0%. You can see over here, low LTV interest rate, 0%. So that means if it's uh, less than 20%, I can borrow at 20%. If you go above 20%, it will go to 6.9%. So either you start repaying or you increase your crypto holdings as a collateral to try to be below 20% collateral LTV value so that you keep the 0% borrowing rate. Limit 
minutes and fees, that's also very nice and clear. It really shows you how much you have left per month, per day. 10,000 euros per day I can spend in Coinbase card, for example, significantly less. It was way too less for me. That's why I didn't really like the Coinbase card. So here you have high limits and you can see a no monthly fee, no annual fee, no delivery fee. So really, really nice. And I like this clean overview. And of course you can contact support. My experience so far has been really nice, really swift. And I always got an answer within 24 hours and really quite happy with it so far. And lastly, of course, you can remove the card in case you want, but why would you want to do it? Um, I don't see the reason. So then you have the notification bill here, but that's basically all your notifications, any uh, interest earned or deposit you received. So that's really for anything. So basically you just double click if you want to pull it up on your Apple Pay or Google Pay, I guess it's similar. I click on my Nexo card over here and boom, I just pay with it and immediately I get a notification. It's really, really nice. And once the transaction is done, next day it will be added to your credit uh, line basically. So how to repay your credit. So basically you will go back to your dashboard and then you'll see over here, repay the button. You can either borrow more or you repay. And basically if you took a crypto loan before, this will be merged with your credit card balance. So it's a little bit confusing. I don't really like it. I hope they will optimize. So if you click on repay, you will see here my outstanding loan is 1,173. So that's a combination of the loan I took once against my crypto. So that was paid to me on my bank account and that's money I can just use for whatever. And then my credit card spending will be here as well. So they're totaled up. And then I can obviously choose how I repay with some of my cryptocurrency or if I had euros, dollars, pounds, what have you in your account, I can use my fiat money to repay the loan as well. I wish they would kind of differentiate it so I know what I'm repaying rather than lumping it all together because I don't really see how much is the loan and how much is the credit card. So hopefully they will improve this. But again, so far they've been really cleaning up certain things in the app and I'm sure they will get on top of this as well. So I've been using it for a couple of days now and so far my experience has been really, really good. One thing though I don't personally like too much is the fact that it's a credit card. I rather top up my debit card as I did with my crypto.com card and just know how much I have in my card and how much I can spend. And if I'm running out of money, I just top it up rather than having to worry that I'm staying at a certain loyalty level with Nexo because in case I drop below this, the money that's on your credit starts accruing interest, right? So I have to check every single day that I'm still the highest level of platinum. Otherwise I might be charged interest on my outstanding card loan, so to say. And this hopefully they would improve. They did say that they're working on a debit card in the future and I wish they would add a few more perks like crypto.com had with the Netflix or Spotify. That would make it a bit more attractive to get this card. But again, as they're still new up and coming, I do believe they will be added. At the same time though, I like that they don't over promise because we've seen with crypto.com, they promise us the world and then they start cutting all the benefits. So here, maybe if that's more financially sustainable long time, then so be it. So my main wish is that they would start implementing a debit card as well. I think it would attract more people and make it clearer because right now it's not super, super straightforward to understand how much you have to repay, what's the time period, what you're going to be charged on. So it's not, not super clear and I hope that they will sort this out. Other than that, I mean, 2% cashback on every single transaction without lockup period. It's so much more attractive than crypto.com card for me right now because having learned my lesson of all these changes, I don't lock up any of my crypto anymore because guess what? Tomorrow there might be another exchange with another great offer. I want to migrate there. So that's the beauty of being able to move around and I don't want to be locked up in any of the exchanges. So that's why I really like it for now. I have no commitments. I can easily convert my Nexo and move to the next exchange if I so wish. So if you want to sign up, then please use the link in the description below to get $25 worth of Bitcoin. In this video over here, I'm going to run you through the entire Nexo platform. Thanks for watching until the end. It means the world to me. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.